Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Paul. I am a trapper out of uh, southeastern Kentucky. In today's video uh, we're going to be going through um, how I removed a dam off of a nuisance beaver complaint uh, off of an old coal pond, a strip drop pond. Um, if you're thinking about doing this on your own property, there's a few things you want to take into account for. It is very dangerous. Uh, you got to take into account for how much water that dam is holding back, how high the dam is. The water pressure coming off that dam when you break it uh, can be excessive and can knock people over and drown them. So everybody be very careful if you're doing that. You also want to take into account for what that water is going down to and if you're going to flood anything out down river. So make sure you look at both of those things if you're thinking about taking out a beaver dam yourself. Also, you want to make sure you check with your local county, counties, states, and municipalities. Uh, some different places, it is against the law to take out beaver dams because they are certified wetlands. And uh, so you want to make sure that you're not breaking any laws by taking beaver dams out. Um, this one is completely lawful. Uh, it's on an old strip job and uh, it's a nuisance beaver complaint and they wanted it taken out. So I'm going to show you how I go about doing that. Thanks for watching. All right, so we're back at this upper pond here. We just checked all the traps, and I think this is the last day we're gonna keep them out because uh, I think we caught all the beaver in these upper and lower ponds. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull out this beaver dam for this coal company. Uh, I brought a few tools with me today. One's my Matic. There's like a pick with a flat side. And then one's uh, a tater rake or a potato rake. Uh, both of them are pretty good at taking out some of these dams. So let's get at it. the second auxiliary dam you go back and get my tater rake it's getting kind of deep in here water's moving pretty good you can already see the water level in this, this smaller lake has already dropped maybe two or three inches so it's doing what it's supposed to here we're gonna go down we're gonna take out this little dam bust this one up and then we're gonna get to that little area where uh, the pipe comes out it looks like there's still some good water flow coming out of the pipe, so we'll try to unclog that too. You can see the level in the lake is already down about five inches probably 
So let's go over here to this pipe and get it unclogged. So here we are where this pipe from the upper lake comes down. It comes underneath this ground here and was supposed to come out here. But after the last few years, these beavers have just dammed this all up, made it so that pipe can't drain. You can see we already ripped out all the, all the dams up there. And we got a lot more water flow coming to this bottom lake here. So let's go ahead and pull some of these sticks out of here and see if we can get this water moving through here too. Got that pipe all nice and draining. Got to kind of blocking it. So let's go back and check on the original dam. So as you can see, the water coming out of the pipe or out of the dam is starting to calm down a whole lot. The whole uh, whole lake is drained quite a bit right now, and uh, it's draining down in that other lake there. We'll have to probably have to go down there and unclog that pipe next. But uh, Usually beavers will not come back this late in the season and repair this. If they're already in here, they will just move on their way. But uh, quite honestly, over the last three days trapping here, we, we didn't catch any today. Caught five out of these two lakes. I think that's about- So here's about uh, 30 minutes after we pulled the dam out. As you can see, the water has definitely receded a lot. You can almost see the entrance to the main hut right down there. So I'd say this water has probably dropped about about a foot and a half uh, it's almost to the top of the pipe there which is good because we unclogged the pipe down below too so I'm sure this, wa this water will continue to drop for the next few hours but I'm pretty happy with the job here all the beavers are eradicated and uh, the dam is split open and hopefully these guys don't have any more uh, more problems if you guys have any questions for me about today's adventure please comment down below or and leave a like on, on my video. Thank you.